Welcome back. Looking ahead on this weekend's Arts Avenue, we are talking to First Stage this morning. And joining us now is Jeff. Jeff, how are you doing this morning? I'm well. How are you? Good, good. So tell us about the play you're working on. It is called The Quest for Solomon's Treasure. Yeah, well, if you think, uh, uh, the way I've described it is if you took National Treasure and Goonies and sort of mashed them together in something created for the digital format and set in Milwaukee, that's what we have in the quest for Solomon's treasure. There are, are six young people who uh, discover a clue to a, a hidden treasure somewhere in Milwaukee, and they set about over the course of seven episodes trying to find that treasure. Wow. So why do you think that this is the perfect uh, for the audience? Well, I think, you know, we've because we aren't safely able to rehearse and produce and invite audiences into us, we really wanted to create something specifically for the digital platform. And our hope with these short form episodes released week by week that mm -hmm. families will take 15 minutes, you know, each week to come together and truly experience something that takes them through a bit of Milwaukee's history um, and through the neighborhoods and discovering um, parts of our community story that they might not know and along the way have a, a real adventure. Absolutely. So, of course, 2020 has thrown everybody a curveball. Everything is different this year, even this, this interview being virtual. Mm -hmm. Why is it important to continue to engage in the arts? Well, I think the imagination is one of the things that helps lift us always in these, these hard times, right? And, and theater companies like First Stage are finding innovative ways to stay connected, you know? And, and this opportunity for families to dive into history and to each episode sort of will conclude with a clue. So folks will have a week to try and figure out the clue on their own and then discover if they were right in the next episode.